Hello everyone. How are you all? I hope you are doing good. This is Nikita and so I have come again with a new video on how to create a new application in Pega. So I got many requests about creating a play playlist in Pega so which covers all of the rules. So I thought uh, to start with first I would uh, explain you how do we create a new application in Pega and what are the things we should know before we do it or what are the prerequisites uh, knowledge information we should already have to start create a new application. So with this background let's jump into the video and we will start create a new application. Before that first we would understand what are the topics I would co cover in this video. So understanding the need of the user whether a framework application is required or not framework application can either be an organizational framework uh, which uh, you know throughout the company you have some same application from which we inherit some major rules mm, it, it can also be some specific framework created for a business line like can be event management or some specific business line right next thing is whether any solution framework is required because Pega has different solution framework uh, other than the Pega rules, the vanilla Pega rules. We have some uh, solution framework like sales automation, customer service and there are more. So we have to understand if there is any need for it. If uh, our use case says that it would be better to have a solution framework, then we would uh, take it. Otherwise, we can start from our normal application with the Pega, you know, vanilla Pega framework. So with that information, let's jump into the video and we will start creating a new application. So before that, let me tell you in which application I am. So as you can see, I am in XYZ bank application. Okay. And it is built on top of theme Cosmos. Okay. There is no solution framework. This is basically a theme Cosmos Pega provided framework from a.x. We have, you know, Cosmos framework. So basically we would create application from theme Cosmos. So this is a XYZ bank application, which I would take as a framework application and create my new application. So let's start. Let's first go to here, go to new application. So now what information I get from here, it's either built from scratch or search all types. Built from scratch is basically you do not want to inherit any of the framework application. You want to start creating a new application on top of uh, theme cosmos or any other pega kit right so either that or you can search all types and then you would see different type of applications which i have in my pega server now and i can take any of them right so if you go to the down arrow you can see there are lot many applications already built right so either you can take any of the application like i can take my xyz bank okay i want to have my application created on top of xyz bank and why i am doing it maybe because i need some rules which are already there in xyz bank or you know this is some organization framework which i want to maintain and now i would create and use this application type okay now it would prompt me with some case types which are already present in my framework application and do I want to uh, inherit that in my new application? If I want, if I can select any one of them or, you know, include all or whatever I wish to. Okay. Now click on continue and then the, you see some data types which are there in my framework application. And it is asking whether I want all of these to be moved to my new application or not. So that is my wish. I can check on it or I can, you know, without it, I can also proceed. So going on with the next part, naming your application, very crucial. You should name your application appropriately because that decides when you are using the application, everyone should know that this is basically serving the correct purpose with its name. So naming your application appropriately, very, very, very important. So let me name it as claims application. Before creating on this button, create application, I will click on advanced configuration. Basically, it prompts me with uh, some information which I need to give them to generate appropriate rules in the backend, right? Coming to application structure, whether it is framework or implementation. So as I've told you, you have two options, right? So when I'm creating a claims application, I'm already building it on top of framework application. Now I don't want my claim application to be another framework application. No, 
I want the people to use the claim application as it is. Okay. So now I can create an implementation. I don't want a framework. Now my application ID. No, this is basically some uh, uh, ID you have to give to the application. Your application name. Okay. And the version, which is the first version. So it's over and over and over. Now organizational setting. What would be your organization name? Division name? Unit name? Right? Do you want to have the division layer generated? So when you click on this checkbox, so there are some division name like this div unit, whatever you give here. And if you click on unit, then this would be your class structured organization name that division dash unit dash claims dash works that, that big name. But if it, your use case requires you to have division and unit name, then you have to give them. I don't require it for now. Okay. So what would be my work group? It would be organization dash application name dash class group name. Coming to case class structure. This is the application case layer. Okay. And these are my case types, which got generated in my XYZ bank, my framework application. And again, it got generated in my claims application because I have told that I want my case type to be migrated. So you can see it says inherit from this is basically my framework application classes. Okay, so that's good. I think let me go to save. And it would create a lot of different rules. Now I can create application. It would take some time because it would create uh, many rules at the back end. But let's wait for it. Yeah, so it's gone. It's done. Now it is asking, do you want some particular users to be created now? Okay, this you can also do afterwards, but it's just giving us an option now. I already have one user, so I don't need again. So let me go to app directly. So it will redirect me to my new application. So you see that there's a claims application. Let me go to the definition. Okay. Let me see if it is correctly doing what I have told it to do. Okay. First of all, my framework, uh, my claims application, O1, O1, O1. Well and good. What is a built on application? Okay, this is my framework application on top of which I have built my new application. Okay, great. Coming to skin. So skin rule is generated by default by Pega when we create a new application. Since my uh, application name was claims, it created a skin rule with the name as claims. Okay, when you go to this skin rule, you would see that uh, from which skin rule it inherits from. Basically, skin inheritance would be defined here. The priority of inheriting unique skin, skin formats. So XYZ bank is my framework application. So there is the skin in the XYZ bank application also, which it inherits. And again, there is a Cosmos skin application given by Pega. So this claims application also inherits from them. Okay. So this is basically uh, the rules. Coming to my application rule sets. Let me make you first understand what are these. These are basically whenever you create a new application and when you create different rules in Pega uh, to, you know, to organize the rules there, uh, you might have uh, already known now that there are so many rules. There are some integration rules, there are some case management rules, and then there are properties and there are services and a lot of things, right? So now when you uh, organize them into different chunks, it becomes easier to maintain. Okay, that is the reason you need to have different rule sets. You can also create your new rule set, but this is what Pega is providing by default when you create a new application. You can always go on add rule set and create your some new rule set name. That is okay. But for now, we'll just understand what are these rules for which got created. So claims is a rule set which is like normal rule set for everything you want to keep the new rules, uh, some new rules you want to create, you can keep it in this claims uh, rule set, it is kind of a generic coming to claims int, <laughs> int is basically integration rule sets. Uh, so this is integration rule set will cover uh, will have all the integration related rules like my connectors, you know, 
for um, uh, different uh, connecting to the different system you need have you need to have some integration so all the integration rule sets uh, sorry integration rules i would add it in this rule set this is basically organization rule set so if i have some rules specific to my organization i can add it here and this int so when you when you look at these rule set now you would be able to see that in your framework application as well let me go to your framework okay so now you see there are different rule sets so basically those are same rule sets you are inheriting that from your from your parent okay so i think that is it yeah for services we generally create a new rule set like claim svc but by default uh, pega is not creating but you can create your own okay so let me go to advanced okay coming to this this is a production rule set okay these are the normal rule set which you have it in application but production rule set are some special rule sets which you do not lock them basically unlocked rule set okay and you keep it open even in production because uh, pega is very dynamic and it's built for change so you have some uh, you know some different rules which you allow user to change that that may be some like reporting thing and all right we have in pega so for that you need some rule set to be open otherwise uh, users cannot create new rules in production right so that is why this is called production rule set and you create this and keep it open in production as well okay i think that is all about the creating new application and in the my next video i would cover about the class inheritance in pega because there are two different kind of class inheritance that you should be knowing okay so that's all about this video thank you so much for watching this video see you again in my next video till then stay safe bye bye